We just got back from a week in Phoenix. That requires flying with my guns and all my gear. I did about a two and a half hour video over on Patreon where I detailed every part of traveling. Uh, it was an incredible video. I think people got a lot of good information on it, but I wanted to just do a quick uh, summarization for YouTube here just to show you how I travel with my guns and my gear. So the first thing is I travel with these Storm Pelican cases. It's the 3410 series. Uh, I learned this trick from Todd Hendricks. Um, and I'm going to show you sort of the combination of tricks that makes traveling through an airport really easy. So when you've got gun cases, they're typically pretty heavy. Uh, if you're traveling with like a Pelican 1750 and a rifle and some other stuff, you know, they can be close to or just over 50 pounds. If they're over 50 pounds, you're going to start paying extra baggage fees. So you want to try to stay under that 50 pound weight, but they're also really awkward to wheel through an airport, especially when you're traveling with two rifles and luggage. Maybe you have a second luggage bag if you have a lot of stuff. Uh, you probably have a backpack of some kind. Well, here's the trick that I learned. First off, so that you can have a soft case when you are at the match, I take out the two levels of foam that are in here and we simply use one of these Creedmoor bags and I'll show you. So these fit, and there's other brands you can use, but these Creedmoors are perfect. It's just their simple bag. I only use these for traveling. They're not my around the club bags, but they fit the gun really nicely. You can see I've got my gun in here. My optics are off because my optics are gonna travel in my backpack on my carry-on along with my spotting scope. But this just goes in the hard case like you see. And so that's what's in here. I've just got my gun, my bolt is back here. I've got my rad on this side, so I've got some cushioning there. And then for the front side, I have either my, um, so like on this particular case, I have my little bean bag that I put my hand in, in for my front rest. And on my other case, I've got an inch of foam just to help protect the barrel a little bit on top of the case itself. And then you've still got room for stuff. And under the foam here, uh, I've got things like my Mirage band that just fits real nice and flat. I have my stock cover for cleaning. Again, it's nice and flat, and it can just go right under the foam uh, right in there, so that makes it nice. And I've got plenty of room up here. In this particular one, I had my, my rope for pulling targets. I had a couple of my cleaning rods and my bore guide in here. Uh, I had my, I already took it out, but I had my PMA stand disassembled in here. And then I've got my handles for my Rodzilla. So plenty of room for some of those awkward items without breaking the weight. And I also know that it's gonna stay well protected. So then the trick is, how do you get these through an airport without a ton of work? Well, the trick with that is to use something like these Samsonite stride cases. Now, the stride cases from Samsonite are sort of unique in that they are uh, basically square. And it's really hard to find square cases because everybody makes kind of tall rectangular cases so that they take up less room one direction. But when you have a square case like this, uh, the advantage is it's lower center of gravity and it's also a little wider, so you have a little more platform there. Uh, this particular one does unzip so that you can gain about another inch of dimension this way, which is what I happen to do uh, when I'm traveling. So, you know, you do this and now you can throw a little bit, a little bit extra in there. And it, it, like I said, it, it buys you maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch. And um, this is going to be a little tougher to show you just because I don't have anything in here right now, so I don't have the weight to, to kind of stabilize it. But when you're traveling through the airport, all you do is you take this and you just throw your, your case right on top like this, okay? And then you can take your second case and throw it right on top. And then I have a piece of Velcro that just wraps all the way from underneath here up through these handles just to kind of hold it in place. But the great thing is I can wheel all the way around the airport just like this. I walked all the way through um, parking structure, elevators, sliding doors, whatever's required. I had uh, my bottom Samsonite was 80 something pounds. Each of these was 44 pounds, so that's 90, that's 170 something pounds. And this just wheeled like a dream all the way through and that was it. Um, it's the best setup I've ever had for traveling and it's just made life really simple. Now you do spend a little bit more because the storm cases typically are going to run you in the mid 200s, high to two, high 200s. And these stride cases from Samsonite 
are typically between two and three hundred bucks. They make some nicer ones that are actually a lot more, but I've just found the, the basic stride to work just fine. It handles the weight just fine. And in my case, I went to Phoenix and this is all I took with me. So I had two rifle cases, my Samsonite and a backpack. My backpack had the two rifle scopes and my spotting scope and a couple really small things. This stride case, in fact, uh, let me show you a picture. Um, take a look at this. Everything you see in this picture came out of this blue case right here. So take a look at this. So you see all of that fit in there, uh, plus, to be honest, that picture didn't even have everything now that I think about it. There was a few other items that weren't in there uh, that were kind of smaller items, but you can see that this Samsonite down here, that took my rear bag, uh, it took my, uh, so this is how I travel with my, uh, my Rodzilla all packed up, but if you had something like a Mini or whatever, it would do the same thing. This is the base to my Rodzilla, and it just fits flat inside of the Samsonite. And I had everything else I needed, including clothes. I had uh, 440 rounds of ammo in there, and it's just wheels like a dream. It's got multiple handles. It does everything that I need it to, and it's just a great way to travel. So if you're looking for kind of a new way to uh, make life simple for you, because look, I've done it the hard way. Uh, I've tried. Uh, going on the cheap. I've tried using duffel bags with roller handles. It's just a pain. And, and you're dealing with a lot of expensive gear. It pays to do it right the first time. So last year I just spent the money, did it this way. And now that I've done this a few times, I can just tell you without a doubt, it's the only way I'll travel with my firearms and all my gear anymore. And you know, it's just, it just makes life so much simple. So there you go. That is how I travel through airports and flying with my gear. It would be even simpler if I only took one gun. If I was going to a smaller match, like when I go to Texas in um, April, I'm only going to take one gun, so life's even better for me, right? Uh, then I just have one gun on top of here. But bigger matches like Southwest Nationals or Nationals, I've got two guns with me. This thing still holds up to all the traffic, and, uh, you know, there you go. So hope that helps. You guys have a great one. We'll talk later.